I got my little buddies in there. They're extra wiggly, which is what I like. We're gonna rat some down here at one of my favorite early spring catfishing spots that's super hit or miss, but if you hit, it can be pretty awesome. So let's go. Honestly prefer that when it's a little sunny for this type of fishing, which uh, today's probably more of a walleye type day, which hopefully I'll get to in a little bit. But who knows, there might be a few hanging around. We're gonna find out one way or the other. This place isn't too bad to walk through now, but it just starts to grow up. It's like going through the jungle. Got some fresh tied rigs. Oh, there's some good things going on right now. Coming at things a little bit different. I have my catfish and carp rods. I haven't used them all that much lately because I've been trying out a few other things. But uh, these things are sweet. They're light, easy to carry, easy to manage. Powerful but sensitive. What else could you ask for? And another fun feature about them, they're seven feet long, so they fit in the bed of a regular cab pickup truck very nicely. You don't have to buckle them into your passenger seat. Where I'm losing, I left my favorite fishing rod holders in Sam's truck, so I'm here with my backups. They're serviceable, they served me well for a long time. The thing about this spot, it's got a lip, so landing catfish is not always the easiest, but we're gonna find out if this net is lucky or not. This is a new Whisker Seeker one, and uh, it looks nice, but is it bad luck? That's the thing about nets. Nets are usually bad luck. I'm hoping this one is not. Also really like how it's extendable. So I'll just get her all extended now. I mean, it's called the extender. Makes sense, right? All right, I, I kinda wanna fish. It actually doesn't look bad, but we're gonna find out. Where can I fit my rod holders? Not always the easiest to find a spot when you're, uh, the bank is made of rocks. It's pretty solid, considering I'm not expecting anything over 10 pounds, probably. I got bait chopped up. One of my favorites this time here is Shad Guts, but I have no Shad, therefore I have no Shad Guts. But I do have Creek Chubs, and they're not too bad either. I'm going to go three ounces, not because there's current, but because I need to. I'd like to get at least a few of them out there a little ways. One or two cats sure would make my day. Anything else? Just gravy on the cake. I don't know what that means. I don't even know where that came from. I don't know anyone who puts gravy on their cake. I'm weird, I don't even like gravy. Cherry on top, I like cherries. One thing I have noticed is that when you get catfish here, in a lot of places, there's channel cats, they kind of come through in loose pods. So if one rod goes down, there's a real chance that well, another one or two can go down. Not always, but enough times where a guy notices. And I got some double hook rigs, which is also known as a stacker rig or a high-low rig. or It's basically just your leader has two hooks on it with your weight hanging below. And I kind of play around with like glow-in-the-dark beads and stuff. There's days where it does seem to make a difference. Like you'll put them, you have beads on the bottom and then maybe a different rig you'll have beads on top. and. The hook with the beads is the one that keeps getting hit. Okay, hopefully somebody's right there. I usually put my rods in the rod holder pretty shallow if we're talking boat rod holders. These, I put them all the way down. Oh, that's sharp. It's good, that's what you want though. Last time I checked, at least when it comes to hooks. And your mental state of being. Tip of the day if you're walking very far. The cushion works almost as well as a seat. It's a little harder to get up when you get a bite, but it's a lot lighter. Less crap to haul around. I'm close enough to my fishing poles. I'm not too worried about them zipping in the water. 
I just checked the radar. I'm most definitely going to get rained on. Also, honestly, didn't expect a bite to take this long. But here we are. All right, fish, you're on about the 10 minute timer. Out of higher hopes, but I do have a backup plan. So I have that going for me. Oh, hey. Got him. <laughs> Sweet. He heard me say, Pooper, get off the pot. So I guess he decided to get off the pot. This is a nice, pretty nice fish. Big head shakes rolling around. This is when another rod goes down, like that one might be. Thank you. Come on, bud. There's so much fun on these rods. All I got is uh, just 20 pound braid and like a 20 pound leader. And a nice channel cat. Almost forgot what a bite looked like there for a minute. Ooh, he's nice. It's interesting, he bit the one with the lighter leader, too. Oh, dandy. Oh, yeah, my net. <laughs> Not used to bringing one. Come here. Oh, that is pretty nice. Oh, chub. He is an absolute hippo. That's what you come here for. The chance to catch one like that. That was pretty fun. Yes. Bruiser of a channel cat. I mean, at least where I come from, which is pretty much right here, you can't ask for much more than that. At least I never will. Anything more than that's just quite the icing on the cake. But uh, it's bigger than I like to keep. I occasionally will, but uh, this one gets a free pass. See you, bud. Appreciate that. That was fun. I'd like to do that. Oh, another. Oh, I bounced him. When you bounce them, they drop it. Okay, more action over here. They come through in pods. Oh, well, Circle of Pride would have got him, but uh, it's good practice for flatheads. <laughs> Rather get that out of the way on Charlie Channel Cat than flathead I've been sitting around waiting eight hours to bite. Really? Had a guy swing by in a kayak, totally caught me off guard. Did he watch some of my videos? Small world. Oh, don't tell me he dropped it. There he is. <laughs> Ooh, not bad. I'll be really interested to see if he ate the cut bait or I put some guts on top. Yeah, he's pretty nice. Out there splashing around, doing big fish stuff. Yeah, he turned around and put the burners on there for a second. I crawled over there like a small child when I had a bite. <laughs> you do what you have to do. At least I do. Alright, you can cut over as long as you stay under. When you're under my lines, we're good. Come here, net. Yeah, he took the cut bait. Oh, another dandy. Come here. 
Oh, the net's caught on the rock. You got it. <laughs> I don't know if he's bigger or if he's a carbon copy, but I do know he's nice. And I'm glad to have caught him. He also hit the glow in the darks. This is when another one gets hit. It should be alright as long as it doesn't get yanked in the water. Carbon copy, that's okay, because he's a dandy. They're both they were both dandies, but uh Sometimes it's little things, but when it comes to fishing, big things like this make me happy too. Especially when we're talking big catfish. That's pretty corny. Let's just pretend like I didn't say that and I'm going to let him go. Okay. See chubs. Oh, wrong direction. Torpedo of a fish. So far, the net is definitely not bad luck. You could argue it's even good luck. I have a scale on my hook. That's something you never hurts to keep in mind is when you uh, hook your bait, make sure there's no scales on it. I'll hook him through the ribs. That should be more secure. Is that a bite? Bob, funny. Could just be a wave. They're not, they're not exactly plowing it, but the water's also like 45 degrees, so there's that. It's so shallow, my sinker is stuck in the mud. Which is kind of neat to think of a fish like that swimming around the water that shallow. Alright, 20 more. That's all I want. I'm hungry, I should have brought my pretzels, but I was not, thank you. What's new? Pretty good at not thinking. Ooh! I wasn't sure what he was doing. He was running at me. That was pretty sweet. Ooh! Big change in direction, big head shake. Pretty good fish. Might be without my trusty. Well, is he gonna run to the net? That would be pretty convenient. Go under the rods. Like I'm fishing in a boat. Oh yeah. Maybe not quite as big as the other ones, but pretty dang nice. Yeah, he's pretty comparable. Pretty dang nice. Another carbon copy. I feel like everything I say when I've been landing a fish has been a carbon copy of the last thing I've said landing a fish. Maybe I should think of something different to say. It's tough when you're distracted. I keep thinking another rod's going to go down because it might. Holy fatness. Whew. Blob. Nice blobby channel cat. Blob definitely defines this one. Definitely not missing any meals, as Cardi B would say. And if you don't know who Cardi B is, I look up to you a little bit and I'm a little shamed that I do. But uh, I'm let him go or her. See ya. Trio of chunks. That's where another rad gets hit. That one is nice enough to dent me a sweater. Tell you, what, I was kind of dragging there for a little bit. Just kind of wore out, run down feeling. Catfish, uh. They'll bring you back up, even if they tangle up my rigs like this. <sighs> Got it. Small victories. Do I do it? Do I bust out the catfish call? 
Here, kitty, 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 kitty. You don't want to abuse that and use it too much. Otherwise, its lethalness diminishes. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. We'll see how it works. Hopefully I didn't wear it out. That wind is laying down nice. Almost is so pleasant out here, I feel like something is going to happen. Like it's going to start raining. Did bring my rain jacket though. That's like the number one way to prevent it from raining, is to bring your rain jacket. Although we could definitely use some rain. Perhaps the catfish are nervous because I'm standing. Oh, I'll, I'll go sit down. No instant gratification on that. All right, fish, 10 minute warning. And I need to go get something to eat. Stuff myself before I left, hoping it'd be enough. I was wrong. Nothing out of the norm there though. And here comes the rain. Duh. And it's cold. Yeah, it's most definitely raining now. Alright, timer's up. Decisions in life, do I leave and go catch cats for dinner, or do I go walleye fishing and catch walleyes for dinner? Feels like walleye weather, but I can't make up my mind. Decisions in life. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. For real. like. You taking the time to watch these videos is awesome and I, I mean it just, I don't know, I can't, words are hard to articulate sometimes. If you're anything like me, that's most of the time, but uh, really does mean a lot. So, oh, if you, I'm going to start guiding and if you want to book a guided trip, go to Spencer or uh, email me, Spencer at RiverCertified.com and uh, if you want to check out all the stuff, you can go to RiverCertified.com and click book your adventure and that's got all the info there but I never promise fish because it's fishing but I do promise I'm gonna work my butt off and we're gonna have a good time so thanks for watching again for real hope you catch a giant